is 17 minutes past the hour. Have you ever wondered how they get the California raisins to dance or how they make food look good enough to eat right off the page? Well, we did. So this week, our consumer correspondent, Hattie Kaufman, is going to reveal the tricks of the trade, the magic behind your favorite commercials. Good morning. Good morning, Paula. The California raisins come to life through a process called claymation. I got this little guy from the place that put claymation on the map. But the Will Vinton studio works with more than just clay. They showed us how they created a new character called Phantom Man. <laughs> We've come to take them for granted. Commercials made with a combination of electronic wizardry and mechanical mastery. Director David Daniels showed us how the production puzzle comes together. So this set is only the sort of the background plate, as we call it, to all the animation that takes place in front of it, because we're not actually ever going to see them. We're sort of moving around an imaginary uh, space. Daniel's job is to program the camera to follow and emphasize the movement of characters that he'll never see on this set. When he um, rises up out of the soda puddle and jumps over here, I have to imagine uh, in my pacing on the camera that I have to pause here for an extra 30 frames to allow him to do that gesture. I like to do really expressive camera moves, um, make the camera a character, bring a real dramatic uh, dart and weave. The character is drawn first, then traced onto copper. So once uh, the, the copper is cut out, we'll laminate it with some bright green paper and actually do a, a rendering. It's not really 3D and it's not really 2D. We've got an extra half dimension in there. Phantom Man comes to life separately. The director works with the animators. He'll have input about characterization, what he wants the character to do, and I'll usually give him a road map as to where he actually has to plant, where he has to, where he has to move, where he has to jump and every two or three frames would be taking one character out, putting another one up that would look in a somewhat different position. And then in those frames in between, we could take that character and move him around and bend him this way. The figure is shot one frame at a time to create movement. And now we have a sequence and he's jumping up and down. And all those pieces are put together in the very final stage of the commercial, which is uh, post-production. <laughs> I haven't come up with the right acronym yet, but uh, <laughs> maybe it'll be something, some, some new thing. But right now it's dimensional animation for us, which is really a mixture of claymation, stop motion animation, and computer, 3D computer animation. We saw the process of dimensional animation in a commercial for Chips Ahoy cookies. Chuck Duke animated their symbol, an exclamation point. The uh, exclamation point has to uh constantly look like it's uh, part of this chunky world of uh, chocolate. And uh, it has to dance in a chunky style. This is claymation, which is a, a type of stop motion where our, our animators will sculpt a single frame and then shoot a, um, shoot a camera frame of that posi position and then move on to the next frame. You really don't know where you're going. <laughs> you, just, uh, you just keep keep a rhythm in your head and uh, that should take you there. In a second Chips Ahoy commercial, Daniels used another type of stop motion animation called replacement. Where we take each one of these bells, attach them to the stems in a, in a very particular sequence and replace that a frame at a time. Place this in. Move this just a fraction of an inch. Take a frame back in, take it out, and just for 200 frames, just keep doing it. <laughs> These are the only elements that were actually shot in the set. Everything else that's in the, um, in the scene you'll see is done in, in post-production. Add spinning cookies, computer generate a bunch of chips, and Will Vinton Studios has itself a commercial it hopes will inspire people to buy and eat. A lot of work goes into those commercials. They usually take between 10 and 12 weeks to make with a staff of about 20 people. And can you imagine how many times they stop and start that camera? See, I thought all that stuff was computer generated. No, I very little. I can't believe they to do so much of that stuff manually. That Phantom Man is actually moving one frame at a time. I love you. You just got to keep the rhythm in your head and hope you'll get there someday. <laughs>